Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Arts. Rigging has always been a very technical process that requires a lot of skills and experience to get things to work really well. But what about a way to do this automatically? And that's where Rigify comes in. So in this Blender tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to use Rigify. So Rigify is a very straightforward um, tool inside Blender and even a beginner can get started with it and create nice looking um, animations so to enable your rigify you just go to the edit and select the preference and on that add-on you want to search rig and you have this rigify so once you have that check we are good to go um, now we want to add the uh, rigify to the scene and we want to make sure that the cursor is placed right at the foot area so that uh, we can add it from there so now we will select two vertices, vertices? <laughs> I don't know, um, then press shift S and select cursor to select it. So now we, are, we have precise location of the cursor and now we can add our rigify add-on. So now we need to scale it up to match this character because it's quite small. Um, to do that, we will select, we will just hit the period key and set it to 3D cursor. That means it's going to scale from the 3D cursor, so something like this. And we don't want to scale it at the object mode because we don't want to mess up the um, default dimension. So what we'll do is move it into the edit mode and do it there. So now we'll just scale this up to match the character roughly. Okay. So we're roughly there. And now let's try to match the pose of this character so to do that we'll just make it we'll bring it in front and also set the display type as wire so now we will just pose this bones till it matches the the pose of the default character um to, to work faster we can use symmetry so now that if we move one part the other one moves along with it so we just need to worry about posing one side and in this tutorial we will not be working with the face so we can delete it um, I will put out a second a new, different tutorial just for the face and so we can just delete this part we don't need and now we can just quickly pose it Okay, so um, to be more precise, let's use um, the snapping and set it to volume so that it's going to snap right in the middle of the object and we can turn it on. So this volume and enable snapping and now we can start moving. Okay, so I'm done posing it so one thing you should be in mind is around this foot area um, you will find this bone here so you want to place it um, around the heel area so that when you this is going to be a pivot point so that the foot can be able to rotate from this area so um, with that that's everything we need to know um, that's the whole placing the bone in the right place and now we can move forward so once you've like aligned, place the bone in the right place, you can select the bone and now we go to this, you click on this um, guy running and click on generate rig. So it's going to take a while, it's going to match everything and then it will give you a rig.
Okay, so it has generated a rig for us. And don't worry about this being backwards. You can just push this forward. So we have a rig and now we can delete this one because we don't need it. We just needed it to align the bones and after that we don't need it again. So like for these two bones I can leave it there or pull it out. So now everything looks good and we can proceed from here. Okay. So let's apply the rotation and scale of everything and make sure the origin is set to the right place and now we can select the character shift select the bone and press ctrl p automatic weight okay so it's done now and we have our rig So all the cool constraints are uh, we're getting it for free. And everything works perfectly. And you have like squash and stretch and stuff like that. Okay, so um, one thing I would like to do is I like to fix some weight paints and we need to do that because like the head looks messed up. And so to do that, um, we have to go to the deformation layer in this rig and let's locate it. So that it's our, the deformation layer is right here, the third one to the last. And now we can select the bone, shift select the character and go into weight paint. And here we can fix every issue. So we select the head bone, get the add brush and just add everything here. Then for the neck, um, we don't need it to affect those areas so we can bring out the X mirror. So we just have to do it once, just clean up. Okay, so we can just grab the blob brush and create a nice transition. Let's do that for the head also. Okay, um, so let's check it out. We can now hide this layer and bring back all this layer. And that should fix it. So you have like a very nice rig. So guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. I'll be putting out another tutorial for um, adding rigs to the rigify um, more rigs to the rigify and also I'm putting another one for the facial rigs so thank you guys for watching this tutorial I hope to enjoy it please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you're not already subscribed bye bye for now see you next time